Hi, I'm Seth Rogen. And I'm Charlize Theron. Uh, today, we're going to play Truth or Dab, which means that we will either answer a question or eat a spicy chicken wing. And you can watch it on First We Feast. For free. For free, I think. I hope. You should not pay for this. Hey, what's going on, everybody? For First We Feast, I'm Sean Evans, and welcome back to another episode of Truth or Dab, the Hot One special where we give our guests two simple options, tell the truth or suffer the wrath of the last dab. And I'm excited to welcome two of the biggest movie stars in the world, not to mention illustrious Hot Ones alum, Seth Rogen and Charlize Theron. You can catch them in the hilarious new romantic comedy, The Long Shot, in theaters May 3rd. Charlize, Seth, welcome to the show. Thank you. Thank you for having us. So in The Long Shot, Seth, you play a speechwriter. Yes. Who works for Charlize's character, Charlotte. Yes. Is there a rally cry or call to action that comes to mind before today's game? I hope to win. I hope to defeat Charlize. I uh, didn't know this was like a, is it a Is it a competition? Well, I don't even know. Yeah. Let me I break don't. down this circus yeah. act. I got real aggressive before yeah. I even knew what the <laughs> fuck we were doing. All right, well, let me break down the circus act. Let's in do In front it. of you, you have three scorching hot chicken wings that have all been doused in various versions of the last dab. Great. I have a series of deeply personal, potentially uncomfortable questions for each of you. And when I ask you a question, you have a choice. Answer it honestly or escape the truth by eating a death wing. Sounds good. All right, Seth, we'll start with you. Because right. anyone who's followed you can see that the drip is out of control these days. <laughs> it's not uncommon for you to show up on GQ's Best Dressed Men of the Week now. What has been the biggest, most outrageous celebrity favor you've called in to get a pair of hype beast kicks or garments? Bonus points if you can tell us the most you've spent on a pair of shoes in the last year. Oof. Whoa. You're never gonna recover from this. No. You'll always I sound feel... like the asshole who paid too much money. No, I think I just asked Kanye West for shoes <laughs> when he first started making them. Uh, and I got them, so it worked. Uh, if you're willing to just ask Kanye West for shoes, you don't have to pay that much for them ultimately. So, <laughs> no, I've probably bought uh, some uh, needlessly expensive shoes. I can say $1,000 I've probably spent on sh uh, one pair of shoes. Well, there's the truth. No chicken wing for Seth. No. Now the tables, they turn towards Charlize. All right. So your co-star Seth is known for giving great BTS stories. My favorite still, the story about when you actually had to keister food to pull off a scene in the interview yes. where there was a dog that was supposed to be sniffing your butt. But I'm curious, Charlize, when you look back at your own film resume, What's one of the most uncomfortable, awkward, behind the scenes moments for you? You gonna dab? No, I, d <clears throat> I, 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 people won't believe it, but it, 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 for me, ultimately, the most embarrassing thing, uncomfortable thing to do is to do anything that involves singing. It's fucking just, it, I just <laughs> wanna crawl into a hole. I, I just, it, it, it's really embarrassing. Well, we won't ask you to sing today. And one round down. Sing or dab. One round down. And Seth, you know we dive deep around here. Let's do it. And this one about 20 years into the canon. Yeah. I have on good authority that you recorded an unreleased hip hop album. Yes. Back in the early 2000s. What? I mean, sort of. I'll, I'll just eat the chicken wing. <laughs> <laughs> we don't have to talk about this anymore. Do I, do I start with this one? Yeah, you start with that one. <laughs> oh, that's so good. Uh, all right. That's amazing. <laughs> Whoa, that fucking pleasure. <laughs> I want to hear that. I ate the wing. We can't talk about it anymore. <laughs> it's off limits. They get spicier than that, progressively? A little bit, oh yeah. Oh my god. All right. <laughs> oh, fuck. Charlize, uh -oh. when you were on Hot Ones, we talked about your TV guilty pleasures. And like me, I know that you're a Bachelor obsessive. So yes. here, we're going to test your knowledge of all things Bachelor Nation with three Bachelor trivia questions, okay? Oh, I thought they were gonna walk out. I got really excited. That I was, was like, dope. <laughs> it's that right. guy, cool. Nope. If you get all three right, you're in the clear, but one misstop, it's a one-way ticket to Scoville City. And then Seth, I know that you recently hopped on the Bachelor bandwagon, yeah. so if you guys wanna work in cahoots on this one, that's cool. No, okay, I'm good. All right. <laughs> I don't know any of their names. That's okay, you okay. won't need to on all this. Right. Which of the following is not a Bachelor spinoff? Bachelor Pad, 
Bachelor in Paradise, Here for the Wrong Reasons, or The Bachelor Winter Games? Bachelor pad. It is here for the wrong hey! reasons. Wow. It is here for the wrong That's reasons. That's not a show. That sounds like a show. We should sell that. We should sell that. We should sell that. Down the hatch that shit goes. <laughs> it's fucked me up. <laughs> it is spicy. It is hot. Having flashbacks. You decide you want some cashew milk at any moment. <laughs> Whoa. Right? This is a 10. Yeah. This it, is not leading into it, for sure. This is a... Uh, it goes up to 12. No foreplay whatsoever. No. This is straight to the fucking... Right in there. Oh, yeah. Oh. Oh, God. Oh. Hard and raw. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Do All I right. have to eat the whole thing? I, I did. That's good. Oh, I'm just you. saying I did. I'm eating it. <laughs> I know your competitive spirit. Mm. My mouth is, like, in pain. Yeah. Yeah. I've been there. Yeah. All right, Seth. Your extended comedy family. Yeah. It's an illustrious crew known for making some of the most beloved movies of the last 15 years. Uh -huh. But it's time to pull back the curtain on what's going on behind the scenes of the following actors. Which one is the most difficult to work with and why? Jonah. Jonah. <laughs> Next. <laughs> oh my God. Charlize. <laughs> You're an Oscar winner with dozens of iconic roles under your belt from Mad Max to Monster to Reindeer <sighs> Games, but we all know that making great art is not really always a walk games? on the back. <laughs> <laughs> really, guys? <laughs> it is a game to John Frankenheimer. That is <laughs> it's not always a walk in the park. Of the following directors, which one was the most fun to work with? Which one was the least fun to work with? David Leach, George Miller, Seth MacFarlane, Nikki Carroll. Yeah, I didn't hear anything you said. <laughs> <laughs> it's intense, right? I'm surprised it fucked her up so bad. She's pretty good with this shit. <laughs> You're wiping your tongue off. That's not gonna help. Seth MacFarlane. Most fun? Yeah. Least fun? So. Uh, There's another wing just sitting there if you don't want to answer the question. <laughs> say him again? We have David Leach, Nikki Caro, Seth MacFarlane, George Miller. Oh, you guys are fucking assholes. Oh, double wing! Oh no, Charlize, I'm genuinely concerned for you. <laughs> so brutal. You winced. You, you audibly winced. Again, I know. If you if you want some of my cashew milk, you can. Have I really do not want your cashew milk. <sighs> Oh, God. It's fucking intense. <laughs> All right, Seth. Yo. It is now pop quiz time for you, okay? okay. I know that you have a very oh cute dog named Zelda. I do. It's widely known that you're obsessed with the popular Nintendo franchise. Uh -huh. So again, three Zelda questions. Oh, you fuck. get them all right, you're in the clear, but get one wrong, legally I'm, obligated to I'm not to gonna get, get them. What is the maximum number of rupees Link can hold in the original Legend of Zelda Fuck for this NES? Shit, I don't fucking know. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, it was intense. The good's better, actually. This one, you're numb now. You're good. You're it is multiple choice. You want to take a shot? Your tongue is dead. It's going to be fine. Yeah, I'll take a shot. Sure. 101, 255, 999. 999? 255. Fuck you. <laughs> That's better. No. I don't feel anything anymore. Okay. Oh. Fuck. Just went down my throat. I was like, it's not that bad. And I, oh. <sighs> okay. We are on to the last wing. Oh. It is the final round. And Seth. You have made a lot of friends in Hollywood, yep. plus you're Canadian, so I think it's widely assumed that you're a very nice dude. But it's time to pull out the knives on the final round. Okay. Can you look Charlize Theron in the face and share one criticism or complaint that you have after spending months <laughs> filming this movie and doing press together? You got this. You can do this. I don't. I can't think of I truthfully can't think of any. No, you can. Oh, man. My belly button sweating. Yeah. It's like a different kind of sweating. Okay, you made me go on the shop alone. You said we would be there together, and then I got there. Nope. <laughs> All right, Charlize, same question to you. 
Can you look Seth in the face? <laughs> and if you have something to get off your chest, let him know. But if not, down the hatch with another death wing. You made me do a fucking karaoke scene all day long. Yeah. <laughs> seeing how hard it was for me, seeing how it was traumatizing me. I will never get over it. <laughs> it's very true. I will never recover from it. No. I just want you to know that. I do know that. Oh, I know. All <laughs> right. Well, that's truth or dab stress testing relationships since 2018. Make sure to check out The Long Shot in theaters May 3rd. Charlize, Seth, any so last hot. words before we get you into an ice bath? This shit's legit. That, it's hot. It's not like famous person hot. It's fucking hot. <laughs> oh, man. Ugh. Can I, like, dip my lips I, in I know. I put my tongue in here. Oh, my God. That was awesome. <coughs> Good job. <laughs> Genuinely. <laughs> hey, what's going on, Hot Ones fans? Thank you so much for watching another episode of Truth or Dab. And if you're a dab head, listen up. It's an important day. We are dropping the newest batch of the Carolina Reaper edition, Last Dab. That's right, the last dab made with Smokin' Ed Curry's Carolina Reapers. It drops today, and it's going to be the last of the dabs until the chili harvest later this summer. So, Get it while it's hot. Get it while it's in stock. Get some, baby. Get some, baby.